I was taught that when you start a journey or something, you love something. Even if down the way it's tough, you still, you still need to push yourself out there. I'm Mofat Keremi. Yeah, I'm a student, just finished my studies, doing Bachelor of Actuarial Science with IT at Tombe University College, the branch of Maseno University. Apart from studies, I do art. So like, I major in portraits drawing, I do pencil and charcoal on paper. So like, I use my art for, as a means of expression and as a means of getting money. Art for me, like it started way back, so like we had problems with my mom because of that. Like she would send me like go go to the shop or something, so I'd be like, no, I want to read. So like I'd go to my room, but instead of reading, she would find me drawing and she'd get mad at me and like shout for me like, you should be doing your homework or something, you know. I remember this one time when I was in class seven, like I was beaten very hard like <laughs> by my social studies teacher, cause. I use this book for doing my artworks, you know. When I'm bored or when I'm disturbed, I just take a pencil or some paint and try to put it out there on paper, you know. I do some abstract or do some portraits, you know. After my primary school education, I scored at St. Eugenia Primary School in Meru, where I scored 32 marks. My family is not that well off. I actually currently I'm being raised by a single mother, so I applied for the scholarship. So I managed to get the scholarship, the equity scholarship. My journey with equity started as a Wings to Fly scholar when I joined Form 1 as a student at Meru School. The scholarship was the, the high school bit of it. So like after high school, the scholarship didn't continue. I joined this mentorship program they're offering. We mentor out there. I'm a mentor to, to the high school students. So like I have, I have some mentors in Morero Boys High School. Yeah, we interact with them and mentor them. So I'm part of the equity equity journey still. When I'm doing an artwork, like I like doing it alone. So I prefer like you send me a picture and I'll draw. So like I enjoy like the peaceful moments when I'm alone. Unfortunately, most people don't appreciate the art that much. So it's not that often, but once in a while comes in a client who is willing to pay that amount for you to do an artwork. But sometimes, someone comes through, gives you a job, and instead of paying you, they will disappear, you know. You are left with the artwork, so sometimes it's challenging. The cost of materials, art materials are quite expensive. So like to manage to get those materials and do a piece, it's quite challenging. When you're interested in something, like as much as the journey gets sad, you have to do it, you know. I believe that, you know, when you give it your best, one day, it will work out, you know. Uh, they say, like, when you're doing something, like, give it your best. You don't know who is watching or who will see you one day. So, like, do it passionately. Way back in equity and currently now, so we used to attend a lot of congresses and mentorship programs. They taught us you have to be passionate about something, you know. No matter how hard it gets, you need to put yourself out there. One day, things will work out. Mostly, I market my artwork through my friends and social media. So I have an Instagram page I currently started. Uh, I go by the name Moff Arts, like M-O-F underscore Arts. Yeah, and a Facebook page by the same name. I have an email account, moffatkrobert at gmail.com. So you can reach out there, you can get me, and we can do business. I've studied actuarial science with information technology. So yeah, I want to practice it out there. But art is something that is in me, something that I own, that even if I don't want to do it, there's that push inside that I have to do it, you know. It's something that I want to express myself. Like, whatever is my mind, I try and put it out there. So when I'm not drawing, the, like, like the portraits, you know the portraits, like, it's a human figure, so you can see this one is someone, this one is someone. So I do, like, abstract paintings. I will express myself out there, using the painting, you know. My mom is very happy. Back then, she was tough, but really in this idea, so I managed to, to manage schoolwork and still do art. So it's some virtue that I learned back way in primary school. So it's something that even if I start a job, doing a job, 
I can still manage the job and that work, you know. So she was tough, but after I started making artworks and making money, so I'd be like, mom, you may make it better. Like, what you to me, you pesa ni nilifanya art. Yo kitu inalipa, so like, <laughs> yeah, she's happy, she's happy for me. Yeah, unfortunately, I haven't gotten to draw a portrait, but I'm planning to someday. Yeah, she really means a lot to me. To the artist out there, you know, it's tough, tough doing art because people don't appreciate the, the part of it. Yeah, but to the people, people there, maybe it's time you start viewing artists as their means of livelihood, you know, pay for their artworks, you know, buy those artworks. So if you get someone to, to hold your hand, someone to, to push out there, someone to get me out there, if I get someone to put me out there, I'd be very happy to do that.